Hi, my name is Wesley Rosling and I'll be talking about the design of a new three dove leg that we've developed that combines series and parallel compliant actuation to achieve energy efficient articulated robots. And as I said, this is a three dove leg uh, and we'll consider three different actuation configurations, one being series elastic actuation only and two augmented configurations with, uh, with parallel adjustable elasticity. And this comes together in a semi-anthropomorphic design which has very similar mass and mass distribution compared to human uh, limb. To achieve maximum energy efficiency, we optimize the design parameters of the parallel branches, being the pulley radii, stiffnesses and pretension positions. Of course the latter can be adjusted using the secondary motors, however not having to move them is of course more energy efficient. And we do this optimization of parameters for all standing configurations in the joint space. Of course, this is a process of designing, optimizing, simulating, and further iterating. And once we were satisfied, we ended up with the final design. So this is the realized prototype, where again you see the same features as on the CAD shown uh, in, the, in the previous slide. And also, I would like to add, we, we load the trunk with uh, an additional 20 kilograms to simulate the weight of a, uh, a full humanoid robot. To demonstrate these augmentations for these monoarticulating and biarticulating configurations actually make sense and are beneficial, we do a series of experiments uh, where we perform elliptical squatting motions with the leg and compare the energy expenditure and torque requirements of the serious elastic actuators. That looks like this. Uh, immediately here you can see that the power requirements for the augmented configurations is uh, less than half of what the Sears Elastic only configuration was consuming. Uh, here you can see the exact numbers, 53 and 60 percent. And furthermore, the RMS and peak torque requirements are also significantly reduced. So this effectively demonstrates the potential of this, uh, this approach. Um, and thank you very much. I hope to see you at the interactive session. Thanks.